Uh, you guys have collaborated a number of times. I believe this is your fifth collaboration. So would you say at this point when you're writing that you can kind of hear Denise's voice <laughs> in your head telling you like, this might not work on camera, maybe do something like this? No, not so much. But uh, the moment she gets involved in the project, I, sure, I certainly do, mainly during the script writing process mm -hmm. when we start really talking about the, the writers we want to choose and why we're choosing them. And, uh, and, we, and we'll always go over, of course, the elements that we really feel like we have to to that we want to capture in the film because we, we both know we can't put everything from the novel in. And so what are the most important things? And we're pretty much always in sync on that. So it makes it easy. So when you're making changes from the novel to the film, like for example, the accident that happens, and I'm not gonna spoil it, is different in the book than it is in the movie. What goes into that kind of a decision-making process? Is it just what will work best with the amount of time you have or yeah, characterizations I, or that sort of thing? I think it's, you know, it's always a challenge, you know, taking the story from the book and seeing if it will work in the structure of a movie. Because, mm -hmm. you know, a movie you have maybe two hours, right? And you have kind of a three-act structure. So when we have kind of the big conflict or the big villain character, sometimes those in particular need to be kind of reshaped a little bit so that it works in the flow of a movie or so that it kind of resonates with maybe more of the characters than in the book. And that's usually the thing that we shift around a little bit, but we stay true to the essence and the intention, you know, of the conflict. And of course, Nick weighs in on all of it, and actually, a lot of it is his idea, you know, when, well. in terms of the changes that we make. Um, and he's so flexible and so now so knowledgeable about how to do the adaptation and what movies need and what works in film. Mm -hmm. So it's just, it's a, he's really a big help. It's like the ideal scenario for source material, probably, as a producer. Right? Yes, absolutely. Well, yeah, but uh, it's, she's all, it's also on my end. I've, I've just got a lot of trust that she's going to put together a film because when Denise is making a film, she's the, she loved the novel. She'll tell me she loved the novel, but she's not saying, I'm making the novel. I'm right. making a good film. And on my end, that's exactly what I want, too, mm -hmm. because I want the, you know, I had the chance to tell the story my way. Now let's... Now let's see it in a, in a visual medium called film and let's see how it goes that way. And she never loses sight of that. Yeah. Uh, your cast is so incredible. You've got amazing up and coming stars and you have some really established actors with Michelle and James. What goes into the casting process and do you rely on Nicholas too to kind of tell you, well, this is sort of how I was picturing them and this is how they should look or that sort of thing? Well, Nick created these people, you know, out of the ether. He creates these characters. So, you know, I have an instinct about what people will work, you know, and they're not always exactly how he describes them. But again, you know, they have the chemistry with each other or they have the just that essence of that makes it, you know, important to be that character. And he does weigh in on the casting. I would never cast an actor without him saying, yes, that's, you know, that works for me. Awesome. So who, oh, that's it. I can ask my last question? Okay, um, who would you say, I know Michelle was the first one you brought on board, so what was it about her that you felt really embodied Amanda? Oh, I think uh, I think just the depth uh, that when when she when she ran through the re of course she's incredibly beautiful to look at right you know that's on my side I enjoyed that <laughs> part but yeah I think it was just the depth that she went through these scenes right she really had a good sense of capturing the essence of this character at this time in her life and it was really complicated it's almost like if she had a, a scene that she would read for you would have to imagine that there were five unwritten scenes before that and five unwritten scenes after that and she had to intuitively know what they were to really capture this specific interaction for instance with Dawson or with her husband and she just had a really good sense for that from the very beginning she was wonderful. Thank you so much. We can't wait to have it on our screens. Thank, Thank you. you. Hey, everyone. If you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.